Folks, good morning. I don't know why I keep getting so close to you. I just, I want to be close to you. Let me back up. So y'all keep asking, and it's a question I will get till the end of time. And you know what? That's all right. I've accepted my fate. I am okay with the social contract that I have signed as someone that lives their life publicly. Y'all continually want to know how I go to the bathroom. And I apologize. Legally, it's just not possible for me to show you. And I just really don't think that, that feels like a bit too far. So, instead, we're going to figure out a better way to do this. But we're going to need some supplies. This. This. These. This. One of these. We got everything that we needed. To get started, we need an anatomy lesson. So I'm going to use this marker and this paper to draw the most gorgeous, cisgendered man you've ever seen. Oh, the tip's not as big as I thought it would be. For the lesson. Okay, welcome to Anatomy 101. I'll be your professor, Professor West. Stand by. So first things first. I was born with legs, but I had a genetic disease that caused the muscles not to work. So when I was two years old, they amputated my legs here at the knee. So gone. The hope was, I feel like I need to lean in, the hope was I could use prosthetic legs to attach to my legs here. That didn't work. These legs here, couldn't move them. So then, when I was five years old, they amputated them here. Stand by. That's gone too, the sequel. So. Removed here, then removed here. This stuff here, it's all still there. This digestive stuff here, it's all still there. The only thing I'm missing is leg here and leg here. Does that make sense? It should. But just in case, let's go to the kitchen for another demonstration. So I understand that even though I've showed a diagram, um, I'm sure there's still questions. So I thought I would do a demonstration to just answer those questions. So, even though I'm missing my legs, do I have one of these? Yep. Just like this one, mine also has a sticker on it. <laughs> it does. Two of these? Yep. I got two of these as well. One of these? Yep. <laughs> Listen, here's the thing. Despite my anatomy lesson and beautiful drawing, the question that I still get, which I understand the curiosity, is how do you go to the bathroom? So, let's try to answer it again. But let's zoom in. I have all of the same parts as a cisgender male, which means I go to the bathroom just like everyone else. I also realize this brings up some logistical questions, so I thought I would answer those too. Um, I can sit on the toilet seat and I don't fall in. For those of you that were worried, no need to be. I'm good. And also, do I sit down when I go pee? Yeah, a lot of the time I do. Or I'll sit from my wheelchair and pee into the toilet that way. Is that too much information? Probably. Have a lot of you asked? For sure. So I wanted to at least be honest and transparent and give you the truth. And hopefully we don't have to talk about it again. I'm just kidding. You're going to ask again. And I understand that. Honestly, I, I get it. <laughs> and while we're on the subject of too much information, some other questions that I usually get are, can you have sex or can you have kids? Mom, don't listen to this part. Like, I know you already know, but like, you don't need to know again. Yes, the answer is yes, of course I can have sex. And could I have kids? 
Yes, however, because I identify as gay, having kids the biological way would look very different for me. And there's a lot of options like adopting, or surrogate, or all the things. So the answer is yes to that. So let's break this down. I know uh, a lot of folks with disabilities, including myself, um, say that we welcome your questions. This is how we learn and, and how we understand lived experience of folks with disabilities. But I just want to add a little caveat there, is that there's an appropriate and an inappropriate time to do so. So for instance, when I'm here on social media, uh, my job is, is to educate you and create awareness and also have a good time and laugh and joke and all the things. And so asking these questions here, I understand. But every now and then when I'm out in the world and I'm at the mall or I'm at line, in the line at McDonald's or wherever that might be, for an individual to come up and approach me and without even introducing themselves say, you know what, I've always wondered, how do you go to the bathroom? To me that feels inappropriate and a bit disrespectful. And the reason I feel that way is because you're asking me private information about my body. It would be like me walking up to a woman um, in, in randomly who I don't know and saying, can you tell me about your breasts? Like, would you do that? Probably not. So what I would suggest maybe we do for next time, uh, when you see someone with, with a disability, or even myself, you can come up, introduce yourself. We used to shake hands, but right now we're not doing that due to the pandemic. Um, you could tell me your name, you could ask me my name, and then what you could say is, do you mind if I ask you a few questions about your disability? And then I would be more than happy to answer them. Or, if I'm just on a quick errand, I will say, you know what, I really apologize, I don't have time today. Um, but I would give you like a quick 30 seconds of what happened to me. I just want to be very clear that I know that it can be confusing when disabled folks say we want you to ask us questions, but we also reserve the right and um, the respect to not always answer them. I'm not always here to be a teaching moment for you every single day, every hour of my life. So I just want to make that clear, that when we're in an education space, it's fine to do that. But when I'm out and about, there might be times that I may not be okay with it. So I hope this clears up any confusion. Listen, I'm not about to start an OnlyFans account or release any nude photos, so this is as far as I can go with this. Any further than this, you're sort of left on your own. <laughs> Folks, thanks for always tuning in. It's always your new best friend. Call me every five minutes. Goodbye!